Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video on the Lockheed 12 and a problem that I've had now twice. Um, there is, and I'll, I'll put the, the flap down and show you exactly what this looks like, but there is a piece. In fact, let me walk over here and I'll grab the, the piece that broke here. So this is a ball joint that, that goes up in the aileron droop mechanism. And you can see here that it's supposed to be about that long and it keeps snapping off in the middle. And, and we've had a, a hard time trying to figure out what was going on with this thing. So we ended up having to manufacture another one of these ball pieces because we don't have any, they don't, nobody makes these things. So, um, but we, we made another one of these and before we went too far, we wanted to try to figure out what is causing this thing to break. And I think we have figured it out and it's actually on both sides of the aileron. So what happens, and I'll show this a little bit in a little bit more detail, but this is the droop, droopy mechanism. And there's a, this bar right here has teeth in it that move up and down uh, across this piece here. And as it, as the flaps go down, it pulls that bar that way and then this thing is just a screw jack that's, that unscrews or whichever way it goes and it pushes on the aileron. And so as it pushes, it causes the aileron to sit and droop um, a, as it goes. So it's a pretty simple process. The, the bar gets pulled when the flaps go down and then it goes the other way and pushes the ailerons up when it goes the other way. But what was breaking is up underneath the flap and I'll, I'm gonna put the flaps down here in a second and show what that looks like but that rod connects to the end of the flap rod and so it, it it gets pulled and pushed this way and and that that little joint the little ball thing I showed you a second ago is what's actually breaking and so what we have noticed and you can kind of see a, maybe a little bit you can see the new joint the new ball that we made is sitting right there and what is happening is when you when it when the flaps are up, the, and you move the ailerons back and forth, that ball is actually hitting. There's a hole in there, and it, the hole's not big enough. And so, as you move full deflection left and right aileron, it's causing that ball to just sit and hit on the the airframe and uh, on the wing. And as a result, it ends up breaking that thing off eventually. And so what we're gonna have to do is we've, we've made a new piece for it, but now we're gonna have to get in here and actually shave out some on the aileron and on the uh, wing here so that it doesn't hit when that thing is, when the aileron's going up and down. So I'll put the flaps down and show you a little bit more what's going on. All right, so this is the piece that we, that broke um, this cap unscrews out of here it gets a cotter pin in it that holds this together but this unscrews and lets the ball joint come out of here so the ball runs around inside of here because it needs to be this thing needs to be able to fluctuate or move up and down as the ailerons are drooping and stuff but all that's happening is this is the main rod for the flap so you can see it runs all the way down to the flap motor so as the flap goes down, it pulls this this way and it just pulls on this rod. So it's a very simple mechanism. But when the, when the thing is up and you can see there's the, the, the rod there. So if I push all the way up, so that's one way on the aileron and this is the other way on the aileron, you can see that it, everything is okay here when the flaps are down. But when I put the flaps up, what is happening and I don't know if I can get you know place to see but the aileron itself has been cut out it's got a, a hole in it and you'll notice right over here in in this corner right here you'll notice it's all the the metal is all busted up and the problem is is that when this when the, the drooping mechanism has pushed the ailerons up this thing ends up dragging on that metal and and it, you can tell here all the all the paint is gone off of the end of this rod. So the the aileron is just sitting here rubbing up against this and and this piece here, and it ends up snapping this off. 
And so what you end up with is you, you, the aileron won't droop anymore. So when I landed coming back from Oshkosh, I actually had, and it's kind of a split flap scenario where one of your flaps is down, the other's not. Um, however, you as long as the wind's not blowing, it's not that big a deal. You just end up flying with the, you know, with the yoke turned 90 degrees sideways. Um, but it's still, everything works fine and it, it's not a big deal, but it's something that shouldn't be happening. And this wing, the left, the left side has, th this is again, this is the second one since I've owned the airplane that, that we've had to replace. And the first time we just thought we had a faulty part. We didn't really, we didn't realize that all this other stuff was going on. So this time we're actually taking all this stuff apart and figuring out what's what's happening and i and i think that's what's causing this thing to break so we're going to open the, up that little slot a little bit more and try to make the cut a little cleaner because whoever cut it before it's it's really jagged up in there as it is so we're going to try to get that fixed 